All right, so uh, today we're gonna do is we're going to look at accuracy and precision. So these are terms that you've probably heard a lot um, and maybe thought they mean the same thing, but they actually mean different things. So accuracy is how close a measurement is to the actual value. Where precision is how repeatable are those values or how close are all the values together. So if we look at like a bullseye, uh, this would be really precise because all of the uh, shots are really close together in the same spot. So you have a lot of precision there. And uh, here we have a lot of accuracy and precision because we were hitting the bullseye and we're good. And then here we probably lack accuracy and precision. So if we think of shooting at a target, accuracy is how close do we get to the bullseye on average and precision is how close are our targets or our shots together okay so precision is how close is a measurement to another measurement okay so i'll let you guys work through those ones if we go down to here uh Remember to find average, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all of these numbers together and then divide by the total numbers that we added. So since there's seven teams here, we're gonna add up all these numbers, divide it by seven, and that gives us the average, okay? In number five here, it says subtract the highest value from the lowest value. And what that's gonna do is give us the range. When you combine the range and the average we get precision okay and we'll be doing that in these problems down here okay so to get the range we're going to find our highest number here so we got team number three has the highest number and then the lowest number is team number five and so we take 2.8 minus 2.6 to get 0 0.2 centimeters. If we divide that by two, we would get 0 0.1 centimeter. And getting the average here, I'll let you guys do the average. Um, when you do the precision, you would take your average from number four it's going to go here and then the range divided by two is going to be your plus or minus number going here okay so in the following problems you'll repeat that just with different amounts of data or different types of data okay the next thing we're going to look at here is expressing errors in measurement so to find the Error in measurement, you take what the value should be, the actual value, okay? Subtract it from what you measured, and whatever that number is, divided by the actual value times 100, and it gives you percent, okay? So let's look at number 11 here. In number 11, it says, while doing a lab, a student found the density of a piece of aluminum uh, to be 2.85 grams per cubic centimeter. So this is their measured value. The accepted value, so the actual value, is 2.70 grams. So if we just put all this stuff in the equation, we're going to take 2.7 minus 2.85 divided by our actual value 2.7. Now you may notice that this is going to give us a negative number and that's okay. Um, you don't, for percent error, it's something called an absolute value. You can write it as being positive or negative, but really you're just wondering how far is it off from uh, the actual amount. All right, so if I 
put this in my calculator. I'm going to do it in a couple steps here. Turn it off this light so I don't get the glare. There we go. So I'm going to do the 2.7 minus 2.85. Enter. There's our negative number. Divided by 2.7 times 100. Okay, so we get 5.56% is what I would round that to. And I w I'm, I'm not going to write the negative. I'm going to leave it as it was. Okay? And so you repeat that for here and here. Uh, the last question here, accuracy is often expressed as an average of several measurements. Look at the target to the right. In your opinion, how well do the measurements represent accuracy or precision? So maybe you can look to the front and uh, see the diagram that you started with and how you answered that question there. All right. So uh, this is going to be our, our first assignment. If you have questions about turning it in or how to do the assignment, what the terms mean, uh, go ahead and send me an email or during our meeting time, uh, come and talk to me. Uh, probably, you'll probably be messaging me and we can help you out as best we can. All right.